This is going to be a video product review of the Sofa Baton Universal All-in-One Remote Attachment for the Amazon Fire TV Streaming Player. This is the Sofa Baton F2 version. They also make a Sofa Baton Remote for the Roku. So let's take this out of the box and see what this does. The nice thing about the Sofa Baton is that it adds a lot of convenience to your life. Now, what you see over here, this is my Fire Remote, and I have to use the TV remote. The reason is, this does not have an on-off control, this does not have a volume control, and so every time I want to do anything, I've got to turn on the TV with this remote, I've got to set the volume with this remote, I've got to go over here and get my Fire Stick going, and then once I get the channel, then I have to go back and mess with the volume. It's an absolute nightmare. That is why we have the universal remote from Sofa Baton. So I'm going to take this out of the package now. This does come with its own batteries. So you don't have to worry about looking for batteries once you unbox this. We have the back over here. This is completely redesigned from the last version. And we open up this little sneaky little cardboard holder over here and we've got two batteries hidden in the back so I'm going to insert the batteries now they are triple A batteries it uses two of them at the end of the video I am going to give some information I will be giving away two of these remote controls to subscribers so stay tuned for information on how we're gonna do that Still not really sure, but so we've added the two batteries. Now I'm going to close the door over there. Very easy to close. And what we do now is we take the fire remote and we slide it into the back. Make sure you do a thumbs up, subscribe, like, share, leave a comment on this video. So we just take this. This is a really secure fit. You can see that it's not cheaply made. This is well made, well designed. It slides in there, slides all the way up. This is not going to fly out and fly across the room. So we've got our remote set up now. This works on generation one of the Amazon Fire TV remote. So what we're going to do now is it has 11 buttons. It has the on, the off, the up volume, down volume, up channel, down channel. We have a mute button we have an a you can program that for whatever you want a b button and a c button you can also program that for whatever you want remember this works on infrared remotes only it does not work on bluetooth or wi-fi we are now going to program the remote so what you need to do is you press the mute button and the power button the red button and hold them down until the red light flashes or goes on takes about three seconds the red light is on so now we're ready to do some programming but we need to put this in learning mode so what we will do is what I want to do first is I want to program the power button so to program the power button I will press the button this light will flash saying that it's now in the learning mode then I will press my power button and then it will be accepting the program so I'm going to press the power button we are now in learning mode and now I'm going to press my button. Light flashes green three times. That's programmed. We can get out of that mode now. I can press the mute. I can press the power button. Light goes off. We're done. But maybe that I want to program more things than just the power button. So let's go back in. We'll press the mute and we will press the power button again. Light comes on. Red. So I want to do my volume control. I want to do the down. So I will press the down button, we'll get it into flashing mode, then I'll press the down button here. Let's make sure these are stable. Light flashes green three times, and I can stay in that mode still. I'm still in the learning mode. I'm going to press the up button on the volume. We'll get that to flash. Now I will press my up button on my TV remote. Light is flashed three times. Now I want to do my channel down. 
So I'm going to press channel down. I'm going to get the light to flash again in learning mode. And then I will press the channel down on my TV remote. It's learning. Okay, it didn't take it. Let's press that again. I'll hold these stable. There it goes. Now I want to do the channel up. Hold the remote stable. Do the channel up on my TV remote. Three green flashes. And what else do I want to do? I definitely want to do the mute button. That's very important. We all know that. So I'm going to press the mute button. Put that in learning mode. Go to my TV remote. Press the mute button. Hold both remotes steady. Green light flashes three times. And we are good. So what I've done now is I've programmed up, down on the volume, up, down on the channel. I've done the mute button. I've done the power button. I believe this allows you to control power on two different things. And I'm only going to be doing this for my TV. Uh, and then you, if you have other items that need uh, control, you can program buttons A, B, and C. So what I'm going to do now is you can wait 30 seconds, wait for the light to go out of learning mode, or you can just, what you just did. Or you can press the power and the mute and the light shuts off and it takes it out of learning mode. So what I'm going to do now, I don't really want to put on the TV and have problems with uh, YouTube, but I'm going to show you that this does work. There's the light on, there's the light on the television. I'm going to press the power button on the new sofa baton remote and the light should turn on. Light flash, TV should be coming on any second and the television is on. So everything works, the power button works, the mute works, the volume up and down, the channel. So I don't need to carry both of these around with me on the sofa when I'm watching TV at night. It is about $29 on Amazon. I'm going to leave a link in my description. If you want to click on that link, you can purchase this directly from the company. Uh, it works. What can I say? It's convenient. It gets rid of the problem of having to carry two remotes, maybe even three, if you have a VCR, a DVD player that you want to program in here. So, as I said, I am going to be giving away two of these remotes to a subscriber that lives in the United States. I will ship them out at my cost. There they are waiting for someone to receive these as a gift. So what you need to do is subscribe to my channel, click on the bell next to there so you will get notifications when I send out a message or post anything. And on May 5th, 5-5 May 5th, I will be contacting the person who wins this, actually both people that win this. So what you need to do, leave a comment about the remote and I will get a hold of you. I will select two people that are new subscribers or regular subscribers, that's fine also. Two people that are subscribing to my channel that have clicked on the notification, I will contact you. Make sure you leave a comment, make sure you like the video, do a thumbs up, and on May 5th, I will contact two people that have followed these rules to the giveaway, and I will ask for your address, and I will ship these out at my cost so that you can also enjoy the Sofa Baton Universal Remote Attachment for Amazon Fire Stick. This is the F2 version. If you want the Roku version, I do not have them. I might be able to get them from the company, but these are the only two I have that I can ship out now as a giveaway. If you are looking for a discount code, I might be able to get a discount code for ordering from the company, but even if not, $28, $29, you can't beat it. This is a wonderful product, and you're not gonna have to hassle with two remote controls. It's sleek, it's beautiful, it fits in to your Amazon Fire Remote, and it works. Thanks for watching, everybody.